How's it going everybody? Chris Ekman here and today we're going to be explaining how you can use FBA stored product to fulfill orders that your customers have made through one of your ClickFunnels funnels. So the ideal situation, how this would work is your customer up here at the top would place an order into one of your funnels that you're running and that funnel would then turn around and send that information to your FBA account who would then uh, pick, pack, and ship the product out to your customer and the process would stop there. But unfortunately, ClickFunnels does not integrate with FBA just yet. So in order to do that, we need to add a third step. And this third step is ShipStation. So the way that this works now is that the customer up here at the top places the order to your ClickFunnels funnel. F ClickFunnels then sends it to the ShipStation account, which integrates with Fulfillment by Amazon, which then they pick, pack, and ship the product to your customer. And that's where the process stops. So just one extra step it sounds complicated but if you just follow along it'll, you'll see that it's pretty simple actually so there's two steps first we have to integrate your fba account with your shipstation account then second we have to integrate shipstation with your click funnels account and then we'll show you how to actually set up a product inside of your funnel and how you can get started uh, and it'll take under 10 15 minutes so the first step is integrating your FBA account with your ShipStation account. So when you first create your ShipStation account, the page is going to look something like this. And first thing we're going to do is integrate with FBA. So you're going to set up a shipping carrier. You're going to click set up a carrier. Then you're going to select fulfillment by Amazon. Make sure you don't select fulfillment by Amazon.co.uk or .cb or any of the other ones they have. They all look very similar. You want to make sure you pick just normal fulfillment by Amazon. Then it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to ask for three different things your seller id marketplace id and mws authorization token and the place that we get all these from is from your uh, amazon seller central account so you're going to go to uh, your user permission page of your amazon seller central account the way you get to this page is just settings user permissions in the top right hand corner and then you're going to make sure that here, developer access confirmation, you have enabled it. You want to make sure that this is enabled. Uh, and if it says that it's disabled, just press the button here that will say enabled. And then you're going to go down to authorize a developer. So I want to authorize a developer to access my Amazon Seller Central account. So developer name is from this ShipStation page. So we just say ShipStation developer account number. Uh, we get that from ShipStation. Again, it says it right here. So just copy that and paste. Then next, say that you understand. Now this information here, I've blacked out for obvious reasons. This should be for your, your eyes only. You never want to share this information with anybody. But you're just going to copy everything that's relevant here into this ship station page so your seller id your marketplace id your mws authorization token it's all labeled out on the previous page we were just looking at so i'm going to go ahead and do that great so now that we've got that set up it should look just like this with a little fba logo underneath your set up a shipping carrier setting so now we have completed step one it's pretty simple so now we're going to move on to step two so step two is now integrating your ship station account with your click funnels account so in order to integrate your ClickFunnels account with your ShipStation account, you're going to go up here to the little gear icon, then go to account, then API settings, then you'll see your API key and API secret key down here at the bottom. And now within your ClickFunnels account, you're going to go to account, uh, integrations, right here, it'll bring you to this page. So now I'm going to do add new integration. ShipStation, select ShipStation from the services, and now you're going to add in your API secret key and your API key uh, from your ShipStation account, which is on the page that we just looked at. So once you have done that, you're going to hit uh, add integration and it will come up right here. So now that we have the integration set up, the next step is to actually add a product 
to one of our funnels. So we're going to go to an order form or a page that has a product on it. So either your order form, your OTO page, one of those. You need to go to products. And before we add a product, we need to make sure that we actually have it in our ShipStation uh, account. So we're going to go up along the top here to product. And then we're going to uh, go to new product. So we're just creating the product. And if you have it, your products in your FBA account, you're just going to add in uh, the additional information like the UPC codes, all that kind of good stuff that you need. Uh, especially the SKU needs to be exactly correct so that it links directly to your FBA account correctly. So you do save new product. And then one other thing that we need to do is create a selling channel. So you're going to go to connect a selling channel and click funnels isn't one of these options. So we just need to make a new store by going down to ship station, uh, store name, click funnels, and then you can add prefix if you want. And then connect. And that's all there is to it. So now, uh, now that we've uh, made the we've made the store, we've linked the product. Now we need to, within the ship station itself. That is now we need to link it to your ClickFunnels account. So we're adding a new product. ShipStation product billing integration. Hundred dollars. Um, time, and then shipping. We're gonna do ship station. And then click funnels test is the store, and then. We're going to choose the product SKU that we put in. So it's ShipStation ClickFunnels. And you can put in a group number if you want to. Uh, you don't have to. So now you can see here that we have the ShipStation product set up. And it is because we have the SKUs linked, it is now set up and ready to be fulfilled by your Amazon account. So just to recap, what we've done here is now when your customer places an order into your funnel, your funnel then collects their payment and deposits it into your Stripe account and then sends the delivery information to your ShipStation account, which has been now integrated with your FBA account, where it will take the shipping information, pick, pack, and ship the product to your customer, uh, and they will receive their product, if it's a prime product, within two days. Um, they place the order ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels sends the information to ShipStation, ShipStation sends it to FBA, and FBA ships the product to your customer. So. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment uh, in, this, in the comment section below. But other than that, thanks for watching and have a great day.